Hello fellow steel mill modelers, model railroaders. I'm back. Uh, every once in a while I get somebody to ask, you know, show us your build as it's progressing. Well, <clears throat> usually I come out here and piddle around whenever I can get a chance from my daily duties. But whenever I can get a chance I sneak out here into my little hole in the wall uh, model shop and get to work and currently I'm working on an American truck crane it is a American 9490 12 axle carrier with a, about a 9310 upper now I'm not a crane guy I'm a dirt guy but uh, cranes are cool and uh, years and years ago on the construction site I had uh, the luxury of running across this particular crane and I was just awestruck by the sheer size of it. This is a big machine. Uh, I don't know what year it is. The carrier itself is 46 feet 6 inches long and it's 13 feet wide. The tires are about 4 feet in diameter. About the width of a sheet of plywood. I mean it is a huge huge machine so of course I gotta try to build it in HO. Now how I do that, my wife um, scaled this or she captured the photo and then scaled it up to HO scale and show you how to do that. She did it on PaintShop Pro. Now if you have PaintShop Pro or some photo enlarging um, app that would be great and it's very easy. The hardest thing about making models like this is the wheels. Like uh, you gotta have the right wheels for you know a vehicle like this and I happen to have the right wheels so let me show you how anyway she takes uh, she took it in paint shop pro and blew it up to this size this is 187 scale and I'm gonna do this one-handed so we then print it out and if it's the tire is the same size as this model that's 187 scale I mean it's not perfect it's not the perfect way to do it but that's the way I've been doing it and it works fine so basically I print three sheets and then I cut these sheets into templates just like this and it took me a while to cut these out I like gluing them on the cardstock it makes it it's better than paper I have the carrier um, two of the house the cabs stuff like that and this is this is a fun super fun build and this is what I got so far so bear with me I have the truck cab almost built almost ready for paint and then I'll put the glass and all the final details on it and that'll be sitting right here I have the house with the American lettering and the counterweights that's the other side of the crane and here is the cab side and it's not a perfect model it's not like a hundred percent 187 scale this is the best I can do and these are the back tandems for the back tires there'll be six back here and six up here and is hopefully gonna look just like that other or the actual schematic something else uh, I had trouble with and you see these little guys right here these are rims off of a plastic car model kit my grandson had. He didn't need them and I needed uh, pads for this crane and it worked out great because these are styrene too. Can't really see them but inside is this is RC antenna or an old TV antenna or whatever you got. That's how I get my hydraulic cylinders to gleam like that. I need a little tiny uh, tube cutting tool I can cut any length of these I want. And that is my outriggers. That took a little while to figure out. And it's, it doesn't want to cooperate. So, got a little bit more work. Um, I got to finish up this. I got to put the backrest on, weight it properly, and I'm going to put probably a uh, lead shot back here for counterweight. Uh, I got to finish winch drum that'll just slide right in here then I gotta do some more top work and do the cab a little bit of cab interiors gotta put a back in there and a seat and maybe some controls or what what have you and hopefully I'm pretty sure this sheep scott boom right here will fit or I want it to it's a hundred foot boom 
that was the last boom I had. And I wanted to build this crane, you know, like I said, for years after encountering it. I always thought it'd be cool to have a, a model of it. So this is uh, not quite done, but getting there, working steady. The hardest thing about this build was figuring out this curb right here. Because on the real machine, you know, the body's curved. You know, it kind of comes straight up and curves over and goes both sides. I, I went through our entire house looking for something that I could use, and I came across this right here. This plastic. Uh, we went to Lowe's, <clears throat> and this is a channel that you put like TV wires and stuff in, and then stick it to the wall to kind of hide the wires. And it had the perfect curvature, and I think it's styrene. It could be PVC. I'm not really sure, but that's what I used up here just to get that that curved profile of the house. So it worked out pretty good. And slowly but surely. And I'll get an idea in my head, hey, you know, it'd be neat to detail that door, and then I'll just, you know, work on that, and a little piece at a time, but I'll get there. She's going to be very nice when I get her done. Now, again, the lettering, that was the last 5mm lettering I had, so this will probably be the last American crane I built, because I'm out of letters. And to me, this is a pretty big detail part. That way, you know, whoever's looking at it can look at, oh, that's an American crane. That's pretty much it. This is how far I got. Outriggers. I kept the bottom like, keep it simple, stupid. This is some kind of plastic channel just so I can hot glue my, my wheels when I paint this. Got a bolt that goes all the way through here to the other side with a nut. And it rotates pretty good. Once I get it all weighted and the boom on, uh, I really have no way to store it, so I'll have to put it on the layout and pray to God my cats don't destroy it, which they probably will, but I put all my cranes inside my BOF and they can't get to them, so it works out. So again, if you want to resize something or you want to build a crane yourself, you can go to Crane Network online, look up any crane you want, and there's probably specs and schematics of it. Like down here, it'll give you dimensions and links and all the fun stuff you need to build this model in HO. Like I said, the hardest part of this build and any other is the tires. You got to get creative when you get these tires. I got these tires from a fellow up in Canada. He was kind enough to sell me two more front tires for another project. And I just made a mold of them and made my own. I can do that because you know, I'm not selling them or anything. It's personal use. And they're really, really nice tires. And like I said, these are about four feet in diameter. And HO, they're very big tires. And this crane is coming along, and hopefully there's enough time, but I really doubt it, where you'll see this crane as she's completed. The problem is, is Google and YouTube and Facebook and all these other communist websites are going bye-bye. They're taking a dirt nap. So whatever new platform is up, video platform, I'll be on it. 187HO Scale Steel Mill Modeling. That's the one I'm going to use. So look for me on the new platform. It'll probably take a while to get a new platform up and running. Starlink's up. Yay! Look up Starlink. See what that is. Tell me things aren't happening. Things are happening. And, uh, yeah. Not too much longer. Not too much longer. God bless you all, and I'll see you all on the other side. Bye.